what is the multiple challenge index? The multiple challenge index is a novel way of looking at the EDI that allows us to get at children who have complex challenges that are the sort of children that school teachers experience as being those that require special need and attention. It takes advantage of a psychometric property of the EDI, which is that the five broad scales of the EDI are divided into subscales. So for instance, the physical health and well-being broad scale has three subscales on it. The social competence has four subscales. The emotional maturity has four subscales. The language and cognitive similarly has four subscales. And finally, the communication skills and general knowledge is one broad subscale. So overall, the five broad scales of the EDI break down into 16 subscales. What we say is, if children are vulnerable on nine or more of the 16 subscales, then they have multiple challenges. And if you add it up, you can see that being vulnerable on nine or more of the 16 subscales means that you must draw on at least three of the broad scales of physical, social, emotional, language and cognitive communication skills and general knowledge. What we're doing now is mapping this out because it gives us a much clearer idea of the challenges that the school system faces when they're trying to deal with new cohorts of children coming into the school system. And so this map shows the multiple challenge uh, index uh, by the geographic school districts across the province for wave one of the EDI in 2001 to 2004. The dark green areas in the province only 2.2% of the children uh, had multiple challenges there. The light green areas between 2.3 and 4% of the children uh, showed multiple challenge. In the yellow areas, 4 to 5.5%. In the light reddish brown, 5.6 to 8.5. And in the dark reddish brown, 8.6 to 12.8% of children were multiple challenge. For an overall uh, level of 5.4% for the province as a whole. By the second wave of the EDI, you can see a, a brown shift on this map. And so like the EDI as a whole, the multiple challenge uh, index went, uh, proportion of children multiply challenged, went up across the province with more brown areas and fewer light green areas. And so overall, by wave two of the EDI, we were up to 6.5%. And at least one district, as you can see, was as high as 17.3%. That's saying that more than one in six of the children entering that school district were showing multiple complex challenges requiring special attention from the teachers, which you can imagine in a class of 25 children would mean that four or five children would require special attention of the teacher, which makes it very, very difficult to keep the pacing of, of instruction going at the level that parents and families want for their children. Finally, in 2008-2009, the proportion of multiple challenge children dropped slightly back to 6.1%, but not back to the original 5.4% that we saw in wave one. You can see that the mode across the province is the light reddish brown, where 5.6 to 8.5% of the children uh, came up on the multiple challenge index. What that's saying basically is that about one out of every 14 children in the province is coming up multiply challenged, and that in many school districts of the province, kindergarten teachers uh, and grade one teachers teachers are dealing with two or three vulnerable, uh, multiply challenged children uh, in their classes as they enter their school years.